It's time for Everything Noob, your source for all things gaming. Hello, and welcome to the Everything Noob podcast. I'm Vortek, joined tonight by the whole crew, Jemmy, Drew, Lido, I'm sorry, Dreadlow now, and uh, Boombody. How's it going, everyone? Oh, well, awesome. Hi. Hello. So, huge story, more backpedaling in the world of gaming. EA Games now uh-huh. saying, oh, hey, we may uh, include an offline mode, and they're putting surveys out there. Like, what do you, what do you, what do you think? Jemmy, what do you think? Is it is it too late? No, I don't think it's too late. I think they're testing the market, especially after Microsoft backpedaled, like, and they have a partnership with them. It's like, <laughs> mm, maybe we should cave, because look at what happened to Microsoft. <laughs> I think I just like how they kind of just snuck it in the survey, you know? It's, yeah. It's, it's amongst right. a bunch of other things, but they just kind of snuck that in there. Classic mode. <laughs> Classic mode. Play the Whatever. game offline, just like you could back in the day. <laughs> so yeah, it's, so it's, it's the nostalgia angle is what they're going for now. Yes. It's like, no, it's not. We're not, you know, bowing to pressure. We just, you know, we thought people might like a little nostalgia. That's all. It was totally our idea. Learning a little bit from Microsoft, I guess, huh? <laughs> they must be. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> the Great Microsoft job. 180. <laughs> right. Xbox 180. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. So I didn't like how I lost my train of thought. I didn't like that part. Um, <laughs> no, I didn't like. You hate it so much, it's gone. I didn't like how they're including it in an expansion. It's not going to be an update. So all those people who were sitting there saying, "Well, I would pay for an offline mode. I want it that bad." Thanks a lot. Now, you know, I'm I'm one of those people too. So <laughs> thanks, past me. They did give they did give free games away though. Yeah, true. They did kind of make up for it. That made up for a lot of their issues. I mean, they give you a free... And they, there was a, lo- a big selection of games, so... I got Battlefield 3. I got uh, Dead nice. Space 3. Nice. I wanted oh. to get that, but I didn't play the other two, so I figured I'd get the one I knew I would play, and I still haven't played it. Still haven't played it. God, I'm so far behind on that stuff. I've played the demo for Dead Space 2. And, like, I'm one of those guys that's just going to be perpetually five years behind everybody else. <laughs> I'm just. I'm glad I jumped a lot on. The, on games. Right, well, that's true. I'm just glad I jumped on like the portal bandwagon early enough. So I'm not sitting here now going, guys, the cake is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that clever? No. Uh-huh. What time machine did you get out of? <laughs> I said I didn't do that. I didn't do that. <laughs> or, or, or did you? Yeah. So I kind of did. I I was way late on portal. But, uh, I think they're going to have an overwhelming response for classic mode. I'm sure they already have. In their surveys. Uh, it's, it's funny because yeah, these surveys are followed by, four days ago. would you buy it? And, you know, would you pre-order it? Would you buy it the day it came out? And uh, I, it's just a lot of questions. A lot of questions. I don't think they're going to get very accurate results if they don't break it down correctly. Uh, but Just trying to sneak it in with a bunch of other stuff, you know, just... Be, be, you know, don't try and be discreet about it. Be point blank about it. Be obvious about it because that's what people appreciate. Yeah. You know, hey, sorry. <laughs> we understand. Kind of. Why even do a survey? Just do it. Putting no. it in an expansion pack, like that's going to be their selling point for that expansion pack. Well, so they're adding a lot of features, but I feel like they're features that we should have had to start with. Like some of the other ones they want to add, uh, terraforming, which isn't in there now. The land just kind of has to, you just deal with the, the land as it is now. Uh, mm-hmm. Overpasses and stuff, uh, more road control so you can add like one-way streets. And uh, what was the one I saw that made me angry? Oh, bigger bigger plots of land for your city. Like, we should have that. We should have all those it- things. Is this going to be like a DLC that you have yeah. to pay for? Yeah, an expansion pack. you got to uh, buy it. That's not right. <laughs> and by the laws of Sim... Because SimCity 4 has all that anyway, doesn't it? <laughs> Probably, yeah. The, by the laws of Sim expansion packs, it's going to be at least $40. Wow. Yeah. That's my prediction. No, thank you. <laughs> so that's why I'm wondering if this is like too late for them. It's you know People have just accepted that it's offline, and they're dealing with it. That's how I've been, you know, now that the servers work, I'm like, all right, you know, no offline mode. And now they're like, ooh, wait, we could sell a lot of expansions if we add that in there. Yeah. Okay. I think that's the afterthought there. Oh, we'll give them what they want, but it's not really what they want. Well, the the thing is, it's EA. And and you have to realize that 
regardless what they do, they're going to make hand over fist money. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. If nothing else, they could could release SimCity, My Little Pony Adventure, Pokemon (laughs) Tasticness. The mod. The mod. (laughs) For $80. And people will buy it. We're going to take all our licensed properties and just breed them together. (laughs) (laughs) And all the characters. Uh, Stop, you're hurting. And then you play Battlefield in that game (laughs) and destroy it. Oh my God! Absolutely. No, the what? There was another. Wasn't PlayStation doing something kind of interesting that people are up in arms about? The light bar. Oh, the, the little controller? light on their controller. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. I don't know if people are up in arms necessarily. At least yet, people are just kind of disappointed. Uh, what I, I think read. They're being sarcastic when they say stuff like, "Oh no, I'm going to buy an Xbox One." Yeah, so no. Because <laughs> that's the only thing they can find bad about this system is that light. Come if on. If your life <laughs> gets upheaved because of a light, then you should probably reevaluate <laughs> <laughs> everything. Oh, man. No, so this light bar is going to stay on all the time, and mm-hmm. it's going to drain the controller's battery. And the batteries on PS3 controllers, as it stands, don't last that long, like for me anyway. Maybe my batteries are just old now. But they don't last me very long at all. No, it's so, the same for me because I I have my old PS3 and the battery on that on my one controller was running down really quick and then that one went kaput and I got a new one and even on the new controller I mean it's pretty much the same battery life between the two which isn't much at yeah. all. So I like uh, wired controllers. But I'm wondering yeah. because <laughs> normally a controller has some kind of light on it. Even the older controllers, even the mm-hmm. Xbox One, have the green thing, right? Mm-hmm. So if it's just like an LED light that's just, you know, illuminating this blue thing or whatever, it might mm-hmm. not be the same as. I mean, it might be just the same as having the old controller with a little LED light on. Yeah, I think so, people, some purists, are worried that it's going to reflect off of their screen. Mm-hmm. But uh, well, I don't think it'd be I, that bright. That's no, why it's, it's blue, though. Right. Well, it's that, different. I, Every player is a different color. It's like the PlayStation Move. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was supposed to be used to indicate health bars and stuff, and it's like on the front end of the controller, and I'm like, how am I supposed to see it though? Right. <laughs> yeah, you have to oh, lift the controller. Oh. Well, now well, it's supposed to be about movement. Reflects like, off your screen. It. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There it's we go. Built-in intuitiveness is oh. Well, you don't just lift it up. We meant to do that. <laughs> uh, most people have LED screens anyway. They don't have any much of a reflection, so I don't know. Yeah. Mine's high gloss, so yeah, it does have a reflection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine's kind of a matte finish, so I I don't know. The the window right behind me, you know, obviously is a factor, but otherwise I don't notice it too much. I don't know. I don't, I don't think, think this is going to turn out to be a huge thing. I think that people are just grasping at finding something else wrong with PS4 because people have Xbox to is... Yeah, they're yeah. nitpicking. They're absolutely nitpicking. Yeah, Xbox I don't think the battery awkward. life is going to be an issue, really. Like no. I said, I think it's the same power as just the little LED light from the old controllers. Well, it's supposed to be some kind of sensor, too. That's what I was reading. It's supposed to be oh, like, well, yeah. a, a motion sensor as well. And, uh, that... Right, and that was... Yeah, that was the idea. Is they were originally going to pack the sensor in with all the consoles, and then they decided not to do that because they, you know, wanted to slap Microsoft in the face. Well, now it's and... an optional thing too, so you can right. get the camera separately. Well, n- at least now you don't have to buy special controllers if you want it. That's and all I know. You have to do is buy the sensor bar. All no. I know is that if you buy an Xbox One or a PS4, you have to have a roll of duct tape. <laughs> you know, cover the light or cover the lens on the. The Kinect. No, it's got to come on electrical tape. Leo. It should come there with a, okay electrical. It should come with a roll of electrical tape. Yeah, right. it's black. I want it to match. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. For the <laughs> seriously. For the the style discerning consumer, color coordinated <laughs> tape for your controller. <laughs> Here's looking at you, Jimmy. <laughs> I mean, I could get the pink controller and then need the pink duct tape. Yeah. <laughs> or none of us will get any consoles and we'll just play our PCs. Mm-hmm. Yep. Very likely. Uh, I don't know. Depending on the games, like... Kingdom Hearts. Uh, why? Oh, oh, yeah. no. oh, no. No. <laughs> no, that's... 
That's um, my childhood. The Order there. 1688 is, is what I'm looking forward to. Mm-hmm. The Order 1688. I've heard of that one. No. Really? Yeah. Did you, like not watch E3? I did. Not all of it. Over it. But not all of it. Uh, the Order 1688 is Victorian uh, England. Uh, and like the Hundred Years' War like continues on in the Industrial Revolution. Oh, and they must have, be like, I don't remember it. They have like it's like it's like kind of steampunk, but not really steampunk. They have like crude. Well, I wouldn't even say crude. They have you know automatic weapons. There's like one guy's got like a lightning cannon kind of thing. Yeah, like a Tesla gun, and it, it looks really really good. That sounds um, interesting. I I that sounds cool. Play that especially yeah the order the system. order sixteen eighty eight. That's it's going to be pretty awesome. And they I I think it's only on console so far. Um, so I don't know. Well, PC game wise, I'm rather disappointed as is most of the internet right now with what happened with cube world. (laughs) Oh, I've been trying to get, I've been trying to get cube world for like a week now. Yeah. Everyone is having problems. They, I was lucky. You you got lucky. I have a few friends that got lucky and well, here's how I got lucky though. (laughs) See, when I heard about cube world way back when, I jumped on their website and wanted to get more information on it. Oh, here we and go. Like I always Dreadlow. do, I always sign up. <laughs> I always do, even if I, I'm not getting anything. I just sign up because I like to get emails to find out, you know. I like Cube World before anyone liked Cube World. When it said I was on sale, I went to the website and I was already logged in. I said, wait a minute, I don't remember making an account because it was such a long time ago. So I went ahead and I purchased it, bought it, and I was able to get it right away. So I'm gonna slap you. Well done. I was just lucky that I. <laughs> the thing is, with Dan, I tried to help him out last night, but what happened was it, it was on sale. The shop was open. The only problem was registration wasn't. Can't make an account. Yeah, so I couldn't make him an account. They're driving me well, nuts with that. Well, they're saying that their servers are getting attacked, which to me is like. What kind? How horrible of a person are you that you attack an indie developer? <laughs> I know some of those people. Really? Like that's so yeah. stupid. Like, hey, you're doing something that you like, and you're not part of a big company, and screw no, you. No, no, no. It's, I... it's people that just generally hate. Hate well, life. <laughs> you know, Wale, the uh, developer, gave them the benefit of the doubt and assumed that it was just. A bunch of traffic. I'm I'm looking at a, a they, yeah. They still haven't determined from SourceFed, and they thought it was just you know just a bunch of people trying to buy it. But then when they did some research, they realized that somebody was actually attacking their website. Oh really? They yeah. confirmed <clears throat> that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's over I, on SourceFed.com. It yeah, says, initially I saw that. we assumed initially we assumed the fault was on our side, like our download updating system could be broken. So we closed the sale and improved our system. But it turned out. That all these problems were the result of DOS attacks, so they came they came to that conclusion after uh, doing some investigation and yeah, I somebody's bet, actually wow. attacking them. I and it was it's... always at the same time. It was like right at at, at night time and whenever you know. So they were they were attacking it. The motive... It's funny how some of the comments are thinking it was Mojang. <laughs> but there's no way. Why would they do yeah, that? Oh my God. just want to start drama. They're, That's what it is. They're very supportive of projects like that, Mojang. Uh, I think huh. it's someone who is just trying to screw around with people who were all hyped up about it. I don't think it has anything to do with the developers themselves. I think it's just, oh my gosh, this game has so much hype around it. Let's screw with people now. That's just... A, it, it had a lot of hype. I mean, I know people who don't want to play it because of the hype, which is ridiculous. I think it looks amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I think in the beginning, it happened with Minecraft. In the beginning, really? with the alpha stages, they had some uh, DOS attacks, some problems with people messing with it, but uh, that was quickly fixed. And back then, it wasn't, <laughs> as, it wasn't as, as powerful of, of a thing as it is today. It seems it's like really gamers, trendy right now. Yeah, it seems like yeah. Gamers against 8-bit art style are just <clears throat> working to bring that whole industry down. I hate yeah. cubes. And maybe it's EA. Cubes. Maybe that's who's doing right. it. <laughs> I, I have a question. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What kind of world are we in now that I can't go look at the at the Humble Bundle and, and find games? I don't know. Is the Humble Bundle Uh-oh. down right now? Is it down? No. 
No, it's the humble ebook bundle too. Oh dear! So the humble uh, ebooks. It's oh e-book my god! Bundle. Yeah, score. <laughs> <laughs> that, what the that's, hell? That's because I look for my indie bundle to see if I can find some good indie games and support some indie developers, and I find books. Now, granted, I would I would read the Will Wheaton book because Will Re- Will Wheaton is awesome, but I don't I don't care about any of these other ones. I mean, I that was probably steampunk, so I'd be down with that one. But the last unicorn, <laughs> the Lux edition. <laughs> I care the Lux not. Edition. I want my game. <laughs> Chevy. And then Chevy I go to the humble the weekly movie. sale. Tiki Tori. This is not a. No. They might have indie movie bundle soon too, huh? Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Indie movie bundle. Probably don't want that one. Do authors right, really need that? Leave. I might have to leave. I'm, <laughs> I'm leaving the internet now. I'm done. <laughs> I quit the internet. I quit the internet. You know, um, I, I think I'm just going to leave the podcast for the rest of the show <laughs> and leave it to. Uh, I'm, I'm going to leave it to a friend of mine. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to. I'm just going to do that. Uh-oh. Your soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Excellent. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jimmy's racing to download. I know. <laughs> this... The last unicorn. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the last racing. unicorn was a wonderful, wonderful book. I love that. I read movie. to my children. <laughs> they loved it. <laughs> awesome. well, Former President Bill Clinton, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> my, 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 my friend Boom just could not take it any longer <laughs> and, and had to go get some chocolate. All right, we're back after some technical difficulties. Sorry about that. Gotta love that DSL. <laughs> <laughs> so, God bless DSL. And God probably bless a good America. time. Probably a good time to shift gears. Anyway, uh, Blizzard has come forward and said that they were very, very uh, interested in the idea of microtransactions for World of Warcraft. Mm-hmm. So. Well, okay. they already have sort of something like that with the pets and stuff. Are they? Well, no, like those aren't microtransactions. Like... Those are just you buy. This is in-game. Yeah, yeah. They're they're talking about an there's, in-game store. There's the difference between buying things from a store and microtransactions. They have different annotations. Yeah. Connotations. Sorry. Well, from what I understand, this is more of a, a exp a booster item. See, yeah. that's the I don't see thing. how they can how they can ask for that if. You're already unless they're going free to play. That was my thing. Was I I was thinking microtransactions? That's a that's a model for free to play games though. That's how you make money on free to play games. If you if you if you do microtransactions on an actual like subscription based game, that's just greedy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Maybe they're looking to lower the subscription fee, but they want to kind of make up for. Maybe they're. Maybe they're working on their new project, and it's coming along, and now they are considering putting it free-to-play, so they're going to see how much money they can squeeze out of it in these last couple of years or so, and then yeah. free-to-play. But, I mean, they're already making hand over fist. I, I know, yeah. but they're just like I EA, mean, they're an evil if, company. If you, if you can find any, like, there, there, there were some leaked um, reports for, like, some of the sales they did on, like, pets and things, and how many millions of pets they sold. Millions. Wow. Yeah. Yes. How many how many MMOs are out there that are still subscription based? Two. Um two? What? There's two the major. World of Warcraft. Two, two major, major ones. Okay. Eve even even World of Final Warcraft. Fantasy Eleven. Oh, okay, Final Fantasy. I don't call those those are is, is that still going? Yes, yeah. yes, it is. The new wow. one's coming out. Um and, Pretty soon, right? Yeah. And see, Rift was Rift was a subscription. It was fourteen ninety nine. Well, yeah, Rift, Rift was a subscription. Went free to play. play. Star Wars was a uh, went free to play. EverQuest was a was a subscription. Um, free to play. Star Trek, Star Trek Star Online Trek went free to play. Went free to play. Star Trek would have been free to play for a long time though. Star Wars Old Republic. Yeah, yeah. More time that they were that they were pay to play. Right. Um, Worm. Uh-huh. Is Worm free completely free to play, or does, are they still doing the hybrid thing? They they still doing the hybrid thing. It actually went up. Uh, actually, the price went up finally. Mm-hmm. The expansion came out. Lots of new cool things. Diagonal, uh, diagonal uh, um, roads, paving. tiles. You pay, half, you pay half, uh, half a tile. Uh, new fences, new animations, new paper doll, new animated, UI. Yeah. All kind of new things. Very very nice. I'm very happy with it. 
It yeah, looks it's, good. It's looking it like a real good. game now where I'm online. It's, right. It really is. Well, it's, it's becoming more of a traditional game. As and now there's there's still some problems. And if you if you'd like to learn more about uh, Worm, I recommend both my channel, uh, Theater's Digest at YouTube.com, uh, or uh, Factional Fights at YouTube.com. Yeah. To learn about Worm. Nice. A lot of good videos on Worm so too. So maybe Blizzard is starting to hurt a little bit because back in May, Forbes reported that they lost 1.3 million subscribers in the past oh, three months. We did yeah, talk about that. Chinese gold farmers. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. Yeah. Oh, they those are all the, care of that problem. Those are all the Chinese gold farmers that they they banned off. Right. <laughs> you you, you want to know what's funny? Press. You, you want to know? You know what's funny? Before I had I had to reinstall my my PC a few weeks ago. My OS. Um, we were playing um, Neverwinter. Neverwinter, which is a game that is based, uh, which is made, made by Perfect World, or uh, produced by Perfect World, uh, made by uh, Cryptic. Developed by Cryptic, which is, is a great game. It is built around, there is gold in-game, obviously, but it doesn't buy anything. It doesn't really, you don't really buy anything. You buy your first mount, and you can buy little things you don't really even need. Everything else is based on the premium currency, which you can get in-game, and it's, there, there's a lot of points to it. But there, that, that's, that's the only currency in the game right now is, is Astral Diamonds. Hmm. Or, or the quote unquote real money, which is aside from that. But it's a premium in game currency that you don't just like pick up from monsters. You have to do certain quests for or whatnot. So that's that 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 is the main currency. Yet there are gold farmers selling gold. Oh on my a game god. That doesn't need it. <laughs> that doesn't need it. <laughs> okay, the idiots are the people buying it, though. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, sure. Right. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I'm like, look at well, I mean, because you can buy. Okay, so you, it, it's a, it's a perfect world game. So it's, it's based on Zen, for you know, uh, all your your really pretty mounts. Which don't get me wrong, I spent fifteen bucks or t twenty bucks on it to get a to get a really big bag because they are really shit about giving you bags, and I like bag and bag space. Um, so I can quest for longer without having to go back to town and whatnot. Um, but you don't need gold and you can take and it basically if you remember uh guild wars 2 you could buy the premium currency and trade it for currency in game that you could use yeah mm -hmm. you can do that with zen to astral diamonds um with players but nothing involves gold really i mean just nothing <laughs> that's okay. a good way to get people not to farm i mean or i mean you can't idea. you can't transfer astral diamonds um <laughs> You sell things on the auction house for astral diamonds. You buy, you know, the really nice gear from vendors with astral diamonds. It's or or with they or with like tokens that you uh, have to farm up. But it's it, it's just it's it's hilarious that it's like we're sitting there one day. I'm like, are they spamming gold? So <laughs> and I look at, and I look at my mailbox. And I'm like, sure enough. I said this before, and I'll say this again. They probably have gold spammers for Farmville. Oh, I'm sure they do. Definitely, they have people who will, sure. you can hire to take care of your stupid fake farm while you go and live your stupid real life. But hey, I gotta go to my real job. Take care of my fake farm for me. I'll pay you twenty bucks. <laughs> Money I earn at my real job. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, what the World of Warcraft in-game purchases, I think they're going straight for pay to win. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me, because the thing they're experimenting with now, the Elixir of Wisdom, adds 100% experience gain increase. So Okay, but here's, here's the question. How many people really need that? In nobody. World of Warcraft, how really many, nobody. How fast? Really, anyway. how many new players are they getting? I would understand if it was a new player issue. If there's a lot of new players. They don't know how to play. I mean, right. I, I haven't played since. I didn't, I didn't play Mr. Panera. I played Wrath. Yeah. And I had uh, I, I bought a new account for Wrath and 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 everything because I was like, oh, Wrath looks cool and I had people to play with, and I had a max character in three weeks a month because I had I had I had an actual like full time job. And you're starting from like the bottom. I started from a new from a new. So yeah. okay. And I had wow. I had at least like one and a half characters finished in like a month. Yeah. I would think that, and that's casual who, play. And that's not even like that's just that's just like medium core grinding. You yeah. know, play a couple hours a day for a month. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm just speculating. I don't, know, I don't know people that can't do that. I mean, maybe it'll take you a couple months, 
But I mean, how is it? Yeah, it's not. I mean, it's not necessary. I don't think. For who, World of whose time is no. worth that much? I'm sorry. <laughs> whose time is worth that much that they need to pay for? Pay for time to yeah. to, to, to to pay to play less time. It's, That's true. I mean, it makes no sense. Why would you play I mean, that game? Somebody who well, needs it now. Here's You're the not. thing. There's a lot of people who have already maxed their characters out, and they've got their main character, and they've got a couple other characters they might have maxed out. <laughs> Everybody's got a Death Knight. Um, but I, Death Knight. I never had a Death Knight. <laughs> what if I wanted to start, you know, well, what the heck, you know, I really want to try a Hunter out. You know, takes, takes, Hunter. Takes, takes two weeks. Come on. So, you know, I, I, I want to start actually, out. Hunter takes but, uh, a lot less time. I want it fast because I really want to get up there fast. So I'll, ain't nobody I'll get got time for that. And I'll do it in less than a week. You know what I mean? Be able yeah. to level that guy up and get into raids right well. But isn't as far as that raids. kind of part of the fun? Is <clears throat> part, I think it is. Well, I, I, I know. It's I know about people, the journey. I have I have friends who will remain un, who will remain nameless, or a friend of mine that will remain nameless, who she's in a guild called Ultaholics, and she has. Three servers full of max level characters. Wow. I'm in that. I'm in that guild. <laughs> Are you? No. No. <laughs> I was gonna say. Can your Are computer you admitting even run that you have a problem, Lita? Oh. Huh? Am I what? Can your computer even run? Wow. <laughs> oh, shut up. I got. I got all the way up to rat, uh, Cataclysm. I, I'm. I'm. I'm waiting for him to go free to play so I can install it all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I might pick up WoW again if it goes free to play, but I'm afraid. I won't. I'm afraid that they'll do, like I said, I think they're going to go straight for play, pay to win because the that 100% experience gain thing might not do crap, but what happens when they start to really expand on it and say, okay, now you can buy these special PvP weapons. Great, there we go, pay to win right there. Well, you see, the thing is they're going to have, they're gonna have a lot of problems with the community. People like Swifty and, oh, yeah. and big PvPers, Athene, the, the, the heavy hitters wow in the community. Wow Hobbs. Oh, I can only imagine what Wow, wow Hobbs for answering. Yeah, because like. he's, he's PvE, you yeah. know, and he would hate hate to see that. That would suck. Wow Hobbs, big shout to Wow Hobbs. That was actually uh, the reason I started playing Paladin way back in the day was <laughs> yeah. Wow Hobbs. Gosh. But, yeah, I mean, they would definitely have a fit over that, definitely. The community would explode, but the will it stop them? If, if they're making a new game that's not going to be pay to win, I'm I'm thinking they're well into development on their next MMO. They have to. Yeah, be. Titan, Project Titan. Blizzard that... takes forever to develop anything. Project though. Titan, Project no, Titan, true. realistically, will be out in 2015. Hmm. What if they haven't? Know if they didn't it? announce it, if they didn't announce it at E3, it's going to be 2015. You will see an announcement next E3. It'll say 2015. And they'll have a launch for it. They'll have a release for it. Right. What I what what the thing the reason I'm not upset, and 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 I'll give you some, some nice wonderful valid reasons why we're not why 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 as a PC gamer, number one you shouldn't be playing WoW because it's a waste of time. <laughs> but there are wonderful games on Steam. You can get your games cheap on Steam. You don't have to pay a monthly subscription for MMOs such as there are wonderful MMOs that you can pay once and play. Defiance, Secret World. Um, Oblivion, you know, Skyrim, Skyrim. Well, that's not uh, Rift. Remote. Rift is one. You have to oh, play. Not Rift is a free to play now. Rift is a free to play. But you still have to, I think, buy the game. No, no, not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Ah, wow. okay. That's really good. free. <laughs> but wow. there, there, there are. If you if you don't know if you're an MMO and you don't check out the new games coming out, games like, of course. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online. It's going to be. Can't wait to, if I can finally get beta access. To that. Uh, I've heard some bad things about it. Well, we've all heard bad things about it, but I mean, until we see it, first in the pudding. True. Well, Dragon's uh, Profit. Some, Fourteen now. Like, there are some the wonderful thing. games coming out, such as uh, Firefall. Star Citizen. Well. Star, Star Citizen. Citizen. That that's a big one. That's a yeah. big one. Uh, if you haven't heard, um, there's a game called uh, Avatar uh, Shroud of the Avatar coming out, which I have some personal love for because it's made by uh, Lord British, who made Ultima Online, and we all know how much I love Ultima Online. Mm -hmm. um, that's coming out. That's in a, that's in that's in Kickstarting. Uh, in oh, I remember that now. Kickstarter. Yes, yes. I was just going to ask if that was a Kickstarter because I remember hearing about it. Uh, in fact, actually, one of the one of the big like five thousand uh, brackets sold. You can actually buy if you have money, basically uh, like five thousand and above. You actually get a character in the game. You're actually a character in the game as like a lord. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh -huh. 
That's pretty cool. It's, it is. See, yeah. with all these free-to-play games coming out, and those that already exist, how can Blizzard not make WoW free-to-play? I mean, they're going to eventually they already have, the, they already have the fan base. They're yeah. going to have to. Yeah, but they a lot of them are losing. To. People are still willing to pay for it. True. There are still I mean, millions and millions of people playing. Yeah. But look at word of mouth. There are hundreds of millions of people playing. They, like, the millions they lost are like a pinch in the pool of players. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. You look, know, do you know, you know, whenever WoW, whenever we have to worry about WoW dying, and we always talk about WoW, WoW killers and WoW dying. Whenever we see in the, in the news that Blizzard laid off tech support or any of that kind of stuff, or development, or shutting down yeah. servers or development, that's mm-hmm. whenever you need to go. WoW's hitting its end. Yeah, yep. and we no. haven't heard that yet. No server no, shutdown. Sure. Wow, it's not on the decline. Yeah. Well, I wow. think word of mouth will hurt them soon here because if Rift is a very comparable game and it's free sure. to play right now, and so eventually sure. these there's gonna be a few curious WoW players who are like, well, I'm kind of bored with this. Why don't we try this? And then they're gonna they're gonna be alone, and then he's like, hey, buddies from my guild, come on in, check out this game, and it's just gonna you know. So they're probably hurting very slowly right now. But sure, but I mean, it's like. It's... And Dragon's Prophet is still in beta, but it's a it's a good game. I mean, get a flying mount at level five. Nice. Um, That's fun. Yeah. People like their flying mounts. Well, huh? I mean, and, and if you really think about it, I mean, there are there are games that are out there now that are picking up. Like Defiance uh, is going to be putting out. Uh, it's uh, it's expansions pretty soon, hopefully. And Firefall. That's Firefall. A- well, I mean, and Firefall, they have a lot. They have a lot of way to go. Like they need to, they need to take like the last year that they've done, and they need to, they need to have about that much uh, again. Because back in the day, there wasn't like now. There's tutorials. There's like a starting tutorial. Um, but even now, like you get in and you want to like you know, do stuff, there's really not a lot of direction, which is kind of nice because you just kind of run around and shoot stuff. But there's... Well, the lady's there's... always talking to me, telling me, hey, over here there's a crash thumper. You might want yeah, to check there's, that out. That's just, that's just random events, though. That's not really any kind of I story love progression those. or... Well, when you go into a new town from the from the starter town, you go to the new town, there's something weird. Like, for instance, there's this guy who wants you to race a bike all the way to another town. And, yeah, then, all... and then there'll be a different event on that town, and then there'll be a different event in that town, and it's almost kind of like a continuous storyline, but not it, it, it really. Is, it, well, and, and to think, a year ago, we didn't have that. Like I said, I played a year ago. I played pretty heavily. Did you? And you basically could go out, throw a thumper down, and, and mine resources. The crafting was super simple, um, and they didn't have near as many monsters as they, or near as many mobs as they have now. Uh, the AI was horrible on the mobs. I am kind of upset because they messed with my engineer class, and I really liked my engineer class. And they they split it. They 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 used to be only four. Now there's five different uh, classes or suit types. Um, but I mean, it's it's yeah. definitely come a long way, but it has a long way to go. Yeah, huh. but Defiance looks like one that's going to be a, another. Defiance is a lot of fun. Defiance, uh, I mean, especially because it has the the. Uh, a number one, a good sci-fi channel series, you know. <laughs> and that. It, it, it progresses as each episode, I believe. It does. Progresses. Like they've since since the, uh, yeah, they they add new things and there's there's quests that that connect to the actual TV show. Um, they're gonna be so putting in uh, Botan more Botan races in the next expansion, nice. like um. Uh, the 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 pale skins. I can't think of their name. The high high, high haze. Nah, I, I don't know. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised to hear that that's a good game, though, because as soon as I it's saw solid. like they were releasing a game like in tandem with the TV show, especially since it's a sci-fi channel show, I was like, it sounds <laughs> corny. I know. I thought <laughs> the same thing. Original. Maybe, maybe I'll terrible. yeah. From the people that hey. brought us Sharktopus. <laughs> um, hey, 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 Sharktopus. <laughs> did you, that, did you, have you gone to a beach in Sharktopus? <laughs> I know that's scary. No, I, I mean, it's the, the, world is, the world is unique. The, world is, the, the environment is rich. There's lots to do. The PvP is kind of rage-inducing, but that's what PvP is for. Um, the PvE is good. The, the instances are good. The, the 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 voice acting is I I would say 
pretty well done. I mean, not like the best, but it's above average. No. Um, it gets kind of repetitive because I think they probably should have waited a little while, but overall it's it's a well-rounded and complete game. That's, See, that's, that's why I really think WoW is, is preparing in case, just there, in case. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they're at least having some meetings to sort of determine how to adapt to a changing market. Yeah. Well, no. they're going to either have to go free to play, or I mean, because I mean, if you look, if you look at free to play versus pay to play, right? The longest running pay to play game is 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 WoW, followed by I guess Eve, because Eve was launched in like two thousand five, somewhere around yeah. there. But you're able to make your, but you're able to make your money in 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 Eve, and you really don't have to make take your actual money and pay for the game. Yeah, yeah. that's which good. is a huge thing. That's true. That and yeah. they and there's no real way to cheat and get banned in the game because <laughs> it's all legal. That's true. Which I think is the another folks are, for a lot of people. Yeah. The E folks I think are, are gonna make a lot from Dust Five One Four though, because that's like the console tie in to Eve. Well and, it would be nice if it was if it wasn't just a console tie in because I was looking forward to it and there was rumors it was gonna yeah. be put on PC as well, but Right. They're 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 really solid that it's only going to be a PS3 slash PS4 title. Yeah, um, I don't know why, but I don't know why either. And there's a lot of really weird things that they're trying that games are trying to do. Like, what is it? The new Dead Rising, which doesn't really follow Dead Rising at all as far as the first two. Uh, yeah. You can take your tablet or your smartphone and call in airstrike. What the? I mean, come on. A lot of games let, are doing that let, now, though. That's a new thing. Like, a lot of new games in, are doing let, that. Let me go bathe in, in. Let me go bathe at. You know, let me go spend a week in Chernobyl and grow a, four, a third arm, so I can right. use. The, so I can use the tablet or a touchpad and call in an airstrike. Let me put my controller down and get eaten by yeah. zombies. Oh, hold on! I got to do my airstrike. Right. AFK, AFK. It, right. It's a um, cool feature. It's a novelty. I don't. I don't know. I can see myself doing that. Like if you have a, if a separate person can call down that airstrike. Because sure. I know in in one of the games at E3, I can't remember. It was one. It was like the Tom Clancy game that's coming out. What's it called? The the, the uh, department. Oh, Splinter Cell. The division. Yeah. The division. Oh! Like, to that one. They, that looked they bad demoed ass. that. Yeah, that looked awesome because they were like, "Oh yeah, we got you know our buddy who's at work is just going to jump on and he's going to pilot this drone on his tablet and then jump and off." It's like five yeah, minutes. Cool. He's there. He's gone. I mean, that's cool. Yeah. But I, I'm I look forward to that game. Looks really awesome. I actually will probably start playing you know more tactical shooters if yeah. that comes out. But for me, it's got to be number one. My biggest look, the biggest thing I'm looking forward to is Star Citizen. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. RobertSpaceIndustries.com. Mm-hmm. Um, Star Citizen. You, should... you can still buy in. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a buy the game, no subscription. Um, it's gonna be getting lots of updates. Yeah, uh, I, I think it's and, gonna change. Not expansion MMOs updates either. Like every couple weeks, they're gonna put an expansion out, and it's gonna be part of the game. Yeah. I'm excited about that. I mean, GameSpot saying they're they've crossed 14 million dollars in funding for I Star saw Citizen. That. Yeah, it's crazy. They've, they have two offices <laughs> nice. for a game that's not even released yet. That's funny. <laughs> for a game that is, they had a they had a huge, I think, twenty four hour live stream the other week. I don't know if any of y'all caught that. Um, no. no, it's pretty it's pretty good. They actually put the um, I forget when they put it out. I just noticed it the other week because I was hopping on. They actually have a commercial for the first uh, spaceship that you can pilot, the three hundred I, like the starter plane, and nice. I it's, I swear it's like it's like a Lexus commercial. If in the future we have spaceships, <laughs> it reminds me of like a Lexus commercial, like with a sleek new you know <clears throat> leather seating and all these wonderful touch pads and and <laughs> just, just go look at it. It's, it's, it's really hilarious. <laughs> but no, they have an Austin awesome. based they have an Austin based um uh office and they have a, a, a an office. Cloud Imperium has has uh, their ba- uh, their office in. <gasps> Somewhere in uh, L.A., I believe. Nice. That's or California. Be, yeah, I I don't think I think anyone who likes MMOs will appreciate and buy that game. I don't know huh? anyone who's not excited about it who likes MMOs. Well, the really cool thing, my I, I, the the biggest thing that they that they that they announced that I really like is if you're an explorer, which is something you can kind of do, um, as just to go explore the galaxy because it's not going to be like here's the galaxy map. No, it's like here is the explored galaxy. 
this is what we've explored. If you go track down, you know, an anomaly and find a jump to another star system, guess what? That gets named after you in game forever. Oh, that's cool. <gasps> Oh, that's awesome. Wow. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> I think that's really cool. So I, I know I'm shooting for my first thing is going to go. I'm going to go explore and because you know, I, I want my name out there. Um, I'll, I'll write my name in the stars. <laughs> the the constellation boom dictates. body. It's the, the boom body. All the girls are. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> All girls in bikinis on this planet. <laughs> right? Oh. Set your course for the top of the beaches of boom body three. <laughs> <laughs> right, all and, redheads, and and, and 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 the only galactic river of rum. <laughs> XX Sephiroth XX. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! You know it's, it's going to be awesome. Are, I I look forward to it. People and... are going to stock up on fuel and just go out in all directions. It's going to be t- it's going to take you forever to find new areas in space. Sure, to claim. it's going to sure. be awesome. And there's going to be part. And th- another really nice thing is, as much as we all love playing PvP, playing online. It is going to be number one. Is going to they are they are uh, completely moddable. Number two, offline play. Nice. How are you to oh. play offline in a game like that? You can play offline. But what do you do? Cool. Whatever you do normally, you have other thing? people to deal with. Hmm. There's That's NPCs. Interesting. Yeah. That's an interesting uh, concept. Because for... I know I've been raging pretty oh. hard. Are you all right there, Jim? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> it's really hot. I thought here. you were having a hot flash because of all this. I am. I'm like, I need to slow down. I need to slow down about two minutes. No, she's, she, she's reading the last unicorn and it's getting real steamy. I know. <laughs> I'll tell you what they use that horn for. Oh, <laughs> what no. the hell? Oh, no. oh my God. I, I, I will say that, that there, there are some things that, and there's other games that are coming out that's going to be really awesome. Thief. Um, uh, what's. Uh, Thief. Dark Souls Two is going to be really already. Nice. What? How, when thir- when, did, when did that come out? Dark Souls has been out for a while, it, like a year. Yeah, more, more than a year. Wow. Dark Souls was a PS3 title. Oh, I feel like that came out maybe a year ago. Not even. No, for PC. Okay, all right. That's why it wasn't yeah, it relevant to me PC. until then. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Uh, but yeah, Dark Souls Two. Uh, it's going to be coming out. Hopefully, it's not going to be because Dark Souls Two right now for for PC is a games for Windows Live, which adds all that horrible connotation of being a games for Windows Live. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, it's so horrible. Oh, but no. uh, hopefully, because there 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 was some there was some mention of Steam, so hopefully it'll be a Steam game, and yeah. and it'll be put on a good platform like that. But um, if you haven't played Dark Souls. Uh, after about four hours of raging at it, I actually got pretty good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen people Just in live streams raging pretty hard raging. at Dark Souls. I, uh, a little raging. I, 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 I was, yes, day before yesterday, I did an eight-hour live stream where I started a new character, and I, I decided to play uh, a sorcerer, okay. which you hardly ever see, really, yeah. a, a pure sorcerer, um, and got pretty awesome. I'm about like I'm probably like a third of the way through the game. Kind of stuck because like stuff's getting really hard, and I need like certain items to make my to like upgrade my stuff. But um, no, it's it's a pretty awesome game. Uh, my buddy actually Luminari streamed it for twenty hours that day. Jeez, good lord! How fact, did he not rage quit? He he he, <laughs> he's like, he, he, he he logged on right. He's like, all right, I'm, uh, and if you're not familiar, you basically either go strike. Uh, you, you can go dexterity builds and just like parry and. Uh, parry and repost everything or be really fast and dodge and everything. And he was like, I'm, I'm going to get good at parrying and, and reposting and, and, and dodging. And so he built a dex character and he's like, I'm going to start this up. And I'm like, Oh, I get a call from, I got, you know, new computer parts. I'm like, Oh, I got my new computer parts that came in. I'm going to go put my computer together. I'll be back in a couple hours <laughs> and uh, came back and he's like, Oh, I've been streaming. I'm doing awesome. I'm like, okay. Uh, I guess <laughs> I'll hop on now too. And I hopped on and we, Streamed late into the night, and by the time he got done, wow. he'd, just, he'd been streaming twenty hours of Dark Souls, and he got—he's wow. he, gotten a lot better than I have, because um, his, his actually takes skill. Mine just—I just stay at range and shoot shit until it dies. Um, <laughs> but yeah, a valid strategy. Hey, <laughs> hey, if I if I if I can get my 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 my, my uh, upgrade my crafting gear so I can upgrade my sword, and uh, I'll be I'll be all right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
I got oh. some sweet red robes. Awesome. I mean, it's awesome. <laughs> I would like yeah, to go. Robes. I'd like to go off topic for a little bit here, just for a minute. I have a little unofficial announcement. Uh, un unofficial because of ticket sales right now. I am going to do my best to go to Minecon in November. Uh. And the only thing, <laughs> yeah, I know you don't care. The only thing stopping me is going to be if the tickets sell out before I get them. But hopefully by the next podcast, I'll be able to confirm it. And, wait, uh, wait, when is it going to be, and how much are they? Uh, sometime this month they're selling them, and no one knows how much yet. <laughs> Probably not. Where is it going to be? Uh, Orlando. Orlando, Florida. Nice. Yeah. 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 I'll go to it when it comes to Texas. <laughs> 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 well, if uh, if any of you manage to get out there, I mean, let me know. But I'm going to try to go out there and represent the podcast and all those things. And I just wanted to throw it out awesome. there now. That would be good. All twelve of you will be represented. Yes. Right. <laughs> In four. <laughs> <laughs> right, everything noob on a T-shirt with fabric paint. We have T-shirts, and, <laughs> and we're, I'm gonna definitely get one for it. Permanent marker. Oh, nice. Yeah, right. Everything noob T-shirt. <laughs> and can, uh, can can you tell them to fix uh, scrolls while you're there? Tell them to fix oh! scrolls. I'll let them know. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen or done have, anything with it. Is it is it good? What it. what is it? What's wrong with it? Help to fix it. I know it's a trading it's... card game. Well, it's like it's like here. Here's a trading card game, and it costs however much to get into the beta. And now you have to pay more money to get more cards, and more decks, and oh, really? They did that? Yeah. That seems like Magic They're... the Gathering. Like, what are you complaining about? What are you talking about, Magic the Gathering? I paid my twenty dollars. I eventually unlock all the decks. You should earn money nice. in the game and then buy cards like you that. You do, but you, you do. can't buy decks with it. You can't buy decks. You can't? You only buy cards and boosters. No. You used to be a lame. To. No, never. Not since it came out. Wow. You can't I get, when you, I play you it, get I... one free deck. You get one free deck. Hmm. You get, uh... No, you can get boosters. You can get boosters of whatever color, <clears throat> but you can't get another you can't get another deck with without paying cash. Oh, a whole deck? Yeah. Now they yeah. they've come out and said, Hey, no game is ever gonna be as good as Minecraft, but I feel like Scrolls and Cobalt have been major disappointments. Like by comparison. I didn't play Cobalt. And I, I wanted to play Cobalt. It looked cool, and I went to get it, and they had so many problems with because that's when they changed their website registration versus their Minecraft.net registration, and I couldn't get my accounts yeah, to merge correctly, everything. so I, I never oh, that picked it up. I never picked no. it up, and yeah, let me know if Cube World's up yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed in, in them lately, so I'm hoping that Notch's new game that he's developing takes off because it looks Sorry. it looks like an interesting space shooter but he kind of he said for the time being he's given up on it because he's taking i guess he's taking a break what are they going to develop what are they doing right now <laughs> i mean they're getting close well, to i mean notch still. isn't doing anything right now is he being rich managing his company I just, yeah i was gonna say basking in the he success just of I'm, I'm, a junk boy. I'm pretty sure i read i read a uh a, a, an enjoying article. a trip to disneyland i mean world I, 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 I read an article the other day where Notch has now become, or has been rich long enough now, that he no longer knows how much things cost at the supermarket. Really? Oh, oh wow. That's, that's, that's yeah, milk that's and cool. bread and whatnot. <laughs> wow. That's that must be nice. cool. I would love that. And for, and, I like the and, comparison and not, to being not rich. Anything bad, but, I mean, I mean, I'm not, not trying to paint him in ill light, but I mean, what are you buying that you don't know what the cost is? He's probably just going to the store yeah. and putting stuff in a cart now rather than looking at coupons and stuff like he probably had to well, do before. Well, you don't have to look at coupons and know how much you're paying for a loaf of bread or a Maybe he's of paying well, somebody else to pick it up for him. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe. Oh, get one of those God. stupid interns to do it. Oh, no. I'm a game developer. I don't want to go out into public because someone might recognize me. Oh, wow. I don't like going out into public I'm going very public. pasty, so... You just, <laughs> yeah. The first Minecon, they all attacked him when he was. Oh yeah, he, he's very recognizable. He puts his face yeah. everywhere, and it's, oh okay. Well, he, if he, he never takes off that stupid. Fine. Yeah, if he just took off the stupid hat, he'd be good. But he just. It, now, <laughs> I, I know this is sacrilege for me to say it, but if he took the hat off and shaved the beard, no one would know who he is. Nope. That's true. <laughs> That's true. That beard is epic. But it, I know, and, I, and 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 you know how I feel about beards. <laughs> but for this, for his safety, and if he wanted right. to be. Like a normal person again, he'd put on like a Japanese like T-shirt. <laughs> but why would he do that? Yeah, Japanese logo shirt. A What's... Japanese logo shirt, like or, or, Dye his or hair Firefly. Black. Firefly. Yeah. You know, like like yeah. like blue sun. Right. Run around and 
and and maybe a baseball cap. Style. <laughs> hey, baseball cap. I mean, I know he loves his hat, so maybe a baseball cap. If yeah. I could afford to have some pick up my groceries, I wouldn't some waste glasses, all that time. Some glasses, shave the beard, maybe keep the mustache, and I think he'd be nobody would know who he is. <laughs> I, I I would probably do that if I if it were that point. But well, yeah, if you were afraid to go outside. If I'm afraid to go outside, <laughs> I, I'm yeah. afraid to go outside, but for other reasons. <laughs> is it the sun? No, There's it's, so much it's light people. out here. It's just people. <laughs> it's just people. I'm an in general. There are very few people who I who I who I like. I'm moving over to Texas to go work, um, and I'm going to have three roommates, and I've known them for many years, and there are very few people who I who I would like choose to live with. Yeah, and, and they've like, made I, the cut. Like, and they, they, yeah, they, 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 they fall into that in that in that small list. Oh, that's good. But yeah, I don't like being around people because people are douchebags. Yeah, there's right. some there's some people out there. <laughs> On yeah. next week's show, Bombardi like murders his roommate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just one of them. Come on now, come on now. Just Two one shows of them. from now. Two shows from now. <laughs> oh no, it'll be, I'm, I'm not moving until the end of the month. So. Oh. Right. <laughs> we, there's one more thing I want to touch on. I already on. paid this month's rent, and they're not going to give it back to me, so I might as well just yeah, relax as well. before I go to work. <laughs> one, more right, thing, to act. one more thing I want to touch on before we wrap up tonight and that I'm really excited about, but I, it, we're starting one day early with this podcast. I tell you what, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern, they're going to be revealing the first official gameplay footage for Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, I haven't they... played any since Vice City, so I can't say anything. You know, are they going to show footage of you having to go play darts with your buddy so he'll keep getting you weapons? Because that would be just terrific. Oh my God. I would just really love to go no, pander bowling. to my artificial NPC character egos <laughs> so they'll keep giving me stuff. Oh that man, would be just great. I would pay full price for that game because it would not at all be the single thing I hated the most about Grand Theft Auto. I before. can't wait to join a fake online dating website on a fake internet browser <laughs> and meet a <laughs> fake. To spend, <laughs> to spend hours checking my fake email in a fake internet cafe. Oh <laughs> man! I think they should just call it. They, they should just call it what it is. They call it what it is. It's Grand Theft Auto Second Life Edition. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. It's just like Second Life with hookers and drugs and cops. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and you can add but, this to Second Life too. So, but before we completely get out of this place, uh, I, I would like to mention a couple games that have uh, graced my my Steam list that are quite fun. Three, if I might. Okay. Uh, one being the Magic 2014, totally awesome. If you like Magic the Gathering. Did you get it? Yeah, of course. I've already beat it. Um, oh, okay, I gotta get it. I got two 2013, and I got the first one. I have, I have 12, 13, and I have 14. Um, I've beaten all of them because I love Magic Gathering. It's a hell of a lot cheaper than, than going out and buying cards. Um, or playing scrolls, apparently. Or playing scrolls. Uh, the other is Unepic. If you're a fan of D&D and RPGs and uh, fourth wall breaking, kind of, but not fourth wall breaking, but lots of lots and lots and lots of uh, video game references and yeah nerd references <laughs> uh unepic is quite fun uh i recommend playing it on a controller uh yeah. and probably my favorite game of the past few weeks uh rage inducing as it is is rogue legacy i saw, a, right. I saw the one and title image for rogue rogue legacy, legacy, it's a roguelike uh spelunky kind of type, type game if spelunky was an rpg and your characters could have things like dyslexia uh, dwarfism, <laughs> gigantism, OCD. Um, a lot of fun. Go check it out on Steam. It's like I think four, fifteen bucks. I'm gonna have to check nice. it out. That, looks, that sounds hilarious. You, you awesome. really like it? I think any of y'all would really like it. It's a lot of fun. I went and bought DLC <laughs> Quest. I watched a Let's um, Play with forever ago, and they've added to it since. So have they added to it? Yeah, they added to it a little bit, and I think they actually added some DLC, but it wasn't something you had to pay for. <laughs> and it, Free it's, DLC and DLC it's a quest? game that makes fun of DLC, basically. Like You're the right. first thing you get in, it's like, uh, you can only move to the right. You have to pay for DLC to move to the left. And <laughs> inevitably, you hit the, you collect three coins and hit this guy that says, "Would you like to move to the right?" And then you can collect some more coins. Like, if you want to jump, and buy jump. some DLC, and so on and so forth. Uh, and that, that's and training to do more damage, and yeah, all, all that right. kind of stuff. It was like uh, two bucks. It was it was worth it. A game kind of not really like that, but kind of in that style of collecting things to make the game better. Uh, Evo Land. Evo Land. 
I've heard of this. Evil Land. Land. And if you are a nostalgic gamer, which I know you are, um, basically it starts off in like old, old 8-bit. Yeah, and then it moves forward. Oh, I want that game. And it moves forward, and you can like move up, down, left, right. You can move at angles. The the graphics get better. Yeah, it's it's a it's like a it's 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 more of a it's not really like a hardcore kind of game. Um, it's 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 more of like play it for the for the kind of feel you get for it. Yeah, but it's it's Evo Land. Go go try that out as well. Evo Land. That sounds awesome. Also, also because I I play way too many games. Um, Space Pirates (laughs) and Zombies. That game is really really fun. Nice. I've been playing that over the last few days. I, I sit around and play games, so I mean, I I, I play way too many games. Um, Space Pirates and Zombies, go check it out on Steam. That's that game is really, and it's narrated by one of my favorite YouTubers slash casters, The Total Biscuit. Nice. Oh, is it really? Oh wow! <laughs> Kudos to him. Yeah he he did the he did like the background narration like where it like goes like the prologue and when it goes like to a new chapter and stuff. I mean, he has a great voice, so. And it's 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 not like over the top Total Biscuit. It's uh it's kind of, um, surreal, kind of serene. Just him being a narrator. It's yeah. it's really good. I like it a lot. I actually I actually stuck around for narration because because <laughs> that's it's, saying it's, something. It, it does. He's got a, he's <laughs> he's got one of the most unique voices in the world. Wow. Uh, I, I look. I, it's gonna be funny whenever because he's now he lives in the states. Whenever he starts slowly losing his accent, oh man! Oh, you think that's it, gonna happen? It does. I mean, it happens naturally. Yeah, now, yeah. I mean, because I mean, he lives on the East Coast in like Carolina or something. One of the Carolinas. Wow. Um. What made him go there of all places? His his, his wife and his. Stepson, oh. That's Jenna a good Bain. reason. Family. It's like a game narrated by Samuel L. Jackson. I would you never, know, we, I, I'd I never go like, away from the the, I, the split <laughs> scenes. I, play, I would I play, Dota, I, I play Dota 2, and they have custom narrators, you know, custom announcers and whatnot. Yeah. And I think we're going to start petitioning to get like uh, Morgan Freeman and oh, Samuel yeah. L. Jackson. Here's another one. <laughs> and, of course, like people like Chris Walken and whatnot. I mean – I think I think that's an untapped uh, form of form of uh, uh, income that they could have. Yeah, and that would yeah. really help video games and 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 produce a lot of hype. That would be funny. That would get people I mean, who cause... never would have thought to play it to buy it because they're a fan of that person. For sure, I'd pay money for that. And it's and basically it's DLC. I mean, mm-hmm. you you're yeah you're gonna pay you're gonna pay a bit a, a pretty penny, but I mean think. If they if they actually you know present it to them in the right light, saying you need to go to a studio, say these words, and we'll pay you, yeah you, know, you know, x amount of thousand dollars, and we're gonna use it in the game, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Well, yeah, we gotta I'd wrap things up. I'd, I'd oh, do it too. That reminds me, I'm actually gonna be working on getting a group together because uh, the game Unepic is unvoice acted. Yet you can actually voice act it and make it as a voice act it and have a mod to where your voice acting is put into the game. That's kind of that's cool. Awesome. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> I'm I'm I, we have about three people down for it. We're looking at getting everyone. We're looking at getting a full cast together and sitting down and doing that. That's awesome. Hmm. Well, so we got to wrap up, unfortunately. <laughs> but thank you all for listening to the Everything New podcast. We covered a lot tonight. And uh, tune in next week. Things. Hopefully, hopefully the Steam Summer Sale will be starting up by ne- by the next time we're here. I hope. Yeah, we and can then spend can, all our money. Yeah, you can all spend right. all your money on all those games that Woo! we just talked about. I didn't need that new couch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I bought I bought my new computer part, so I have I, I'm good. You're good. I have, <laughs> I'm like I have no money. So they can't they can't take my money this time. Right. <laughs> all right, everyone. Uh-huh. Thanks for listening. Catch you next week. Later. Bye. Later. Later. Thanks for listening to the Everything New podcast. Be sure to visit everythingnoob.com for previous episodes, show notes, host bios, and blogs. And while you're there, feel free to write us with any questions, comments, or suggestions you may have. Don't forget to check out the links to our Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch TV channel as well. On behalf of the noobs, see you next week, and happy gaming. Who is that handsome man recording? I don't know, but all I, that I, I, his, his voice is making love in my ears. <laughs>